Hi there. This part is made from Delrin, which is a DuPont plastic, which machines readily and gives a great finish. Here's the tools in the turret and the block. There's a parting tool, a material stop, a turning tool, and a normal stub drill over in the gang block. Just watch this walk from the first cut that you see here. It just flies away from the tool. Not that cut, this one. Right, see it's nowhere near the tool. I find that with this material, the faster you can feed and the deeper cut you can take, the better the swarf clears away from the path. But I had to make 41 of these parts and not once did I get a tangle around the part or the chuck that stayed there and just blew away. These parts are being made for a company here in Melbourne that makes virtual reality driving simulators which allows race drivers to practice on various tracks without actually having to go there. I don't normally turn plastic at 3000 RPM, particularly PVC, I found that tends to get hot and wants to melt and get too gooey. I usually machine that in this size at around 2000 RPM. This seems to work really well. The way the swarf flies away when you can put a decent cut on it is just amazing. It's the lighter cuts that do this, but each time I found it's not been a problem. I made, I made 41 of these parts. You did not have an issue, did not have to stop the machine once to clear swarf away from the part of the around the car. If you watch the swarf from this car, it just disappears. I'm sure it can only be the draft created by the jaws whizzing around at 3000 rpm, it's just blowing the swarf away. Another one. It's amazing. There's the stop in action, it's a new technique that I've started using of, instead of using a turning tool with its ground edge and bashing it around, well not that the plastic here would do it much damage, but I've just decided it's good practice and I'll try and do it from now on. Look at that mess, and it's gone. Unbelievable. There you go. There's the finished parts. Thank you for watching.